Today, I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cars video. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a brand new episode of cars that are absolutely on fire right now, cars that are doing very well. Now, before we get into that, I did want to say a little bit about our membership program because our membership program has been doing incredibly well as well. Um, so, one of our very good investments that we have made um, that has made a lot of money has been Joe Montana's 1981 Tops PSA 10 in our ultra high end report. We we have reports um, on all different scales for all different budgets. Um, so even if your budget is say $20, we have um, you know membership programs for you. But this specific pick is in our highest membership program, which is the ultra high end yearly report. Um, and so we recommended our members, our ultra high end members to buy up Joe Montana PSA 10 1981 tops for $45,000 on August 22nd of 2021. And most recently, the last three sales have been $85,000. 103,000 and 95,000. Um, so those members who bought in made roughly $50,000 in profit um, in you know around seven months or so. So if you guys would like to join in on the program and make some money with our program, um, whether you have a smaller budget or a very large budget, um, click the link down below to sportscardsinvest.com um, and you can check out which membership works best for you. But without further ado, we're going to hop right into this video. Uh, so the first player we have that has been on fire recently, um, at least with the last few sales, has been D'Angelo Russell. Um, and his Prism Silver, specifically in a PSA 9, is what we're going to take a look at. Um, but all of his cards have been doing very well um, over the last few weeks. Um, so, of course, D'Angelo Russell was a big part in the Timberwolves um, play-in win against the Clippers. Um, D'Lo and... Um, Anthony Edwards really helped pick up the slack from Cat because um, he was in big foul trouble. So D'Angelo Russell will be making, you know, one of his first real appearances in the playoffs. Um, you know, and he, this time he's actually quite a big part of this Timberwolves team that is looking quite good right now. Um, and I do know that a lot of investors are placing their bets on the Timberwolves, even in these in the Grizzly series. Um, now the Timberwolves have had a lot of success this year year against the Memphis Grizzlies um, and you know if they can somehow stun the Grizzlies I could see you know Carl Anthony Towns Anthony Edwards and D'Angelo Russell's cards doing very well um, so as we see here on March 20th um, these dropped as low as $24 um, and they're currently back up to around $58 um, which is the all-time high for the last three months um, so as we see we got around a 24% growth from the start of um, you know from roughly end of January to now. Um, so a lot of good growth here in D'Angelo Russell's cards, which is good to see because he has been quite undervalued in my opinion. Um, so a silver PSA 9 with only a pop of 102, um, you know, which is very low for young you know, stars. So I definitely think this still has some good room for growth. The market cap on the PSA 9 is still at around 62.81, um, which is very low comparatively to a lot of other players. Um, so I definitely think these still have some opportunity. Um, now, without further ado, we're going to hop right into the next card um, that is doing very well, and that is Mikel Bridges um, and his PSA 10 Prism. Um, so this has seen a growth of around 82% um, in the last three months. These could have been bought for as low as $17. Um, you know, some even dipped as low as 11 to 15, um, and they're currently consistently selling for above 30. Um, so, you know, what to take out of this is that as the playoffs come around, um, of course, all eyes are going to be on the Suns, and Mikel Bridges is a big part of this Suns team. Um, he's a candidate for Defensive Player of the Year. Um, he's definitely, you know, I would say, in my opinion, the third or fourth piece um, on the Suns that can really, you know, the Suns play such great team basketball um, that it's hard for investors to only focus on Devin Booker and Chris Paul. Um, I think a lot of attention um, during this Suns success, um, whether it continues in the playoffs, um, hopefully into the finals, possibly. Um, I definitely think there's going to be a lot of growth for DeAndre Ayton, Cam Johnson, and Mikel Bridges um, because these guys if you're watching the games these guys are 
big part of the Suns' success. Um, and I think that during the playoffs, when all eyes are on the Suns, investors are going to realize this and buy up um, Mikel Bridges' PSA 10, which only, you know, this relatively has a very low pop compared to other 2018 prisms. Um, so I still think there's some good growth at around $32 for Mikel Bridges' P prism PSA 10. Now, without further ado, we're going to hop right into our next pick. Um, and this is a pick that I have been telling people has been very undervalued for a while. Um, now, this has only seen around a 19% growth in the last three months, but I am listing this here um, specifically because I think this is a card to keep your eye on. Um, and in general, Pascal Siakam has been just very overlooked in the market. People often forget what he did in that finals run for the Raptors. Now, of course, he is not the best first option on a team. I think he does have to have a few stars around him for him to reach his full potential because when defense is focused on Pascal he tends to struggle but when you have another star alongside him I think he's definitely you know available to thrive on the team so I definitely think with the recent Raptors success with how well they've been playing in the second half of the season this is a card to keep your eye on heading into the playoffs they're playing a Philadelphia 76ers team that honestly I think the Raptors have some sort of a shot um, so if they can somehow stun the Sixers this card can see some great growth um, so just something to keep your eye on I would not recommend buying it as of now but is definitely something to keep your eye on on. And if the Raptors, you know, can somehow win this, somehow come ahead um, in the first two games, I think there's going to be some good eyes on Pascal Siakam's cards. Um, now, without further ado, we're hopping right into our next pick. Um, and this is going to be Jason Tatum. Um, this should not be a surprise at this point. Jason Tatum's cards have been doing incredibly well. And I think there's going to be some great growth if the Celtics can finally overcome, you know, the conference finals. I think if the Celtics can make a deep run this year, which we haven't seen in a few years, um, I think we're going to see Tatum's cards go to the next level. Because if we look at this pop right here, I think there's incredible room for growth for the caliber player Jason Tatum is. As we see here, this has already gone up $592 in the last three months. It's gone up around 55%. Um, but one thing to really keep in mind is the 753 pop. Because if we look at other young stars, such as Luka Doncic, um, his Prism Silver has a 2123 pop, um, which is essentially three times Jason Tatum. And this is a, a $2,300 card. So at, I definitely feel very comfortable in the long term um, in Tatum at 753 pop right now at 1675 because we've seen him play like no other um, in terms of his age. The Celtics' success, um, you know, I definitely think if the Celtics can somehow beat these Nets and show that they have a good shot this year, we're going to see this card really take off, as we're already seeing right now. Um, I definitely think this is a card to keep your eye on, even heading into next year. I mean, Tatum is really taking a jump in his game, and if he can equate that into even a finals appearance, a finals appearance, even a conference finals appearance, I think this card is set to do very well with the pop of 753. Um, but I really want to thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate all the support for our program, for our channel, and for our Instagram. Um, if you want to check out our Instagram and our program, links will be down below. But I really appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'm out. Peace.